is uh, getting back on the stage. The Academy Award nominee returns to Broadway to deliver an hour-long monologue. Simon Stevens and Nick Payne's play Seawall, A Life, opens September 3rd and closes on September 29th. Gyllenhaal's monologue takes up one hour of the play's one hour and 45 minute runtime. That's a lot. Unpeeled's pop culture reporter Katie Lane is here to discuss Gyllenhaal's third role on the Broadway stage. Welcome, Katie. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, I'm excited for you to be here. I'm excited to talk about Jake Gyllenhaal, but <laughs> tell me what the show's about. I have no clue what's going on. Okay, so the show is called Seawall, A Life. It is um, two acts, so Tom Sturridge, he's a famous actor from England. He uh, is the man in the first act, so uh, he talks about the loss of, um, without giving too much away, the loss of his daughter and how he kind of blames her death on his father-in-law, so little twist there. Um, and then Jake Gyllenhaal has the second act to him and his is a little more comedic. Uh, he talks about um, his wife and they're having a baby together um, but then at the same time also losing his dad. So mm -hmm. it is, while it is humorous at points, it is a very deep show and right. they really want people to feel something when they are, they are leaving the theater and sharing their stories with other members of the audience. Mm -hmm. right. Powerful stuff. That's very true. Now, Gyllenhaal has clearly made many super fans feel things along the years, right? So, um, <laughs> yeah, oh, she's sweating over here. Not in like the best, the best way possible. Um, don't mean to call you out there, Carrie. But, um, but now, a lot of people are saying that super fans are only going to see Gyllenhaal, the snack himself. What do you think? Of, did you notice that it was only Gyllenhaal super fans at this point? So. Thankfully, most of the people that were there were well-respected fans of his, um, also fans like fans of theater, um, but a lot of them were fans of his films, whether it be from October Sky way, way back, um, The Day After Tomorrow, um, but because of his new summer release this summer the, with the MCU, a lot more teenagers have become fans of him. So with that came a lot of people coming after the show to the stage door, um, and they were kind of like almost attacking him in a way. They were kind of bombarding the area and he was getting a little noticeably upset because he was there for, he wants them to be there for the show, for mm -hmm. theater, to experience theater, not him. Not the Jill so. and Hall show. Yeah, yeah, it's not the Jill and Hall show. Even though it is for a yeah. lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I would go for the Jill and Hall show. Right. <laughs> uh, so a lot of theater goers are giving this a lot of buzz. Uh, t they're talking about a Tony Award for the actors in the show. Do you think they're actually in the running? It's hard to tell because it is a, um, it's not a long run of a show. It's pretty short. It's only like a month. So I'm not sure, but I know a lot of shows are leaving Broadway. So that might open up some space for them to slide right in. Now, mm -hmm. something I've been very, very, very curious about this whole time. I heard um, Jill Hall sat on your lap. Yes. How did that happen? How did that work out? We need to talk about this. Okay, <laughs> That's so breaking. it was really funny because both actors were like, very interactive with the audience. So they were like looking into people's eyes and everything, which is which was different, but very cool. And so at one point he came down and he came into the audience and he just got to my row and he was like, excuse me, to the people next to me. I was in the middle of the row. And he just climbed across all these people and just sat on my lap and did like part of the scene and was like, I love you, I love you, I'm wow. never leaving you. Did you it, want him to leave? Did you tell I, him to I leave? I was like, no, don't leave, okay. <laughs> no, don't leave, don't leave me. Good God, well thank yeah, you so, so much.